Peace be with you. The Monday Thursday Gospel declares that the hour has come. A recurring theme in John's Gospel pointing to Jesus' arrest, trial and crucifixion. As seen in the passages like John 7.30 and 8.20. Jesus himself mentions the hour during his ministry. And I intend to examine these instances closely to understand their deeper meaning. What significance does the hour hold in the Gospel of John? We can discern the meaning of the hour by examining the instances where Jesus refers to it. In John chapter 2, during the wedding in Cana of Galilee, Mary informs Jesus, they have no wine. Jesus replies, my hour has not yet come, indicating that when the time is right, he will provide the wine. In John 4, Jesus tells the Samaritan woman, Believe me, the hour is coming when God will be worshipped in spirit and truth, foreshadowing a new form of worship. In chapter 12, when the Greeks seek to meet Jesus, he declares, The hour has come for the Son of Man to be glorified. Unless a grain of wheat falls and dies, it remains alone. But if it dies, it bears much fruit. This imagery of wheat evokes thoughts of bread. When we reflect on these three instances, what imagery comes to our mind? In these instances, we find references to wine, new form of worship and bread. These symbols bring to mind the image of Holy Eucharist instituted on Maundy Thursday. Hence, Jesus declares the hour has come for him to provide wine, which is his blood, and bread, which is his body, marking a new form of worship. What is the Passover meal described in the first reading? The first reading for Maundy Thursday is taken from the book of Exodus, which recounts the Passover meal, during which God commanded the Israelites to sacrifice an unblemished lamb and apply its blood to their doors. This action ensured the safety of their firstborn as the angel of death would pass over their homes. Subsequently, Israelites partook in a meal consisting of the slaughtered lamb and unleavened bread. God instructed the Jews to annually celebrate Passover in remembrance of his saving acts. Later in history, the Jews eventually incorporated wine into the meal as a symbol of joy at their redemption from slavery. How does the Passover meal relate to Monday Thursday? On Monday Thursday, Jesus celebrated the Passover meal with his apostles. He replaced the unblemished lamb by becoming the Passover lamb himself, offering his body and blood for our redemption. This act prefigured his ultimate sacrifice on Good Friday, fulfilling the true meaning of the sacrificial meal. At the Last Supper, Jesus took the bread and said, Take this all of you and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. Here, the Paschal Lamb is replaced by Jesus' body in the form of bread. He then took the wine and said, Take this, all of you, and bring from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Here, the blood of the Lamb is replaced by Jesus' own blood, in the form of wine. Thus, the Last Supper is a sacrificial meal, just like the Passover of the Jews. When did Jesus establish the holy priesthood? In the Old Testament, only priests could offer sacrifices. It is important to bear this in mind as we understand Jesus' actions in instituting the holy priesthood and instructing his disciples to do this in memory of me. Given that, the Passover meal celebrated on Maundy Thursday was a sacrifice with Jesus offering his body and blood. It is implied that the apostles were consecrated as priests by Jesus. Jesus introduced a new form of worship to the Holy Eucharist in which bread and wine become his body and blood. Besides, he instituted the priesthood to celebrate this new form of worship. He referred to this new form of worship at the wedding in Cana, to the Samaritan woman, and upon the arrival of the Greeks. Saint Maximilian Kolbe said, If angels could be jealous of human beings, they would be so for just one reason. 
Holy Communion. As we participate in the liturgy of Maundy Thursday, let's pray for the grace to receive Holy Communion often and for more vocations to the priesthood. Entrusted with this sacred duty of transforming bread and wine into the body and blood of Jesus. God bless you.